Okay, Sensei, three. Okay, stand in your circle, that's a start. Right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump out the circle, in the circle, out the circle, forwards, okay? So, going in and out, forwards. All right, make sure your feet aren't together, you're on your toes at all times. Okay. Allow the arms to move as well, however you need to. Okay, stop in the middle. Now we're gonna jump out to the side, into the middle, out to the side again, okay? Stop in the middle. Okay, so north, south, east and west, however you want to do it, okay? So we're going to go forwards, into the circle, one side, circle, back, circle, other side, circle, okay? And I want you to go round one way and then come back the other way, okay? So yeah. Keep going, guys. Okay, Mate. So, we're going to start behind the circle. We're going to jump into the circle but open up. Okay? So, think of posture. So, in, open up. Okay? So, just jumping in, but wider legs than normal. Okay? So, we're going to jump in, jump back out. In and out. When you jump in, real soft knees, okay? Really soft knees. Head always up, make sure opening that chest. So we open up. Wider legs, guys, not together. You don't want your feet together. Wider than the shoulders, okay? Remember the judo feet, all right? We never have our feet together, and nothing we've taught you is ever to keep your feet together. Okay, Mate. Now, <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to jump into the circle. When we jump forward again, we're going to do a 180, okay? In 180. So you're turning. We're always turning to face the same way, I turn to face you, and I turn to face you again, okay? So one side is basically a right, and the other side is a left, okay? So jump, 180, jump, 180, okay? And the guys that, um, nearly every you should be able to do this actually, see your naggy arms? You jump in, as we're gonna jump to turn left, see your naggy arms? And always keep yourself light on your toes. So keep going. Use your arms, guys. See your naggy arms, yeah? So, in, see your naggy. In, see your naggy. One right-handed, one left-handed, that's the way we're looking at it. Good. Okay, kick your belts out of the way, you don't need those anymore. Okay. Just like you was there. 
Back leg, front leg, front leg, back leg, okay? Back, front, front, back. Back, front, open, okay? Back, okay? We're gonna do 20 on the right, 20 on the left. Okay, once you've done your 20 on the right, then just change it, other foot forward, back, left, back, front, front, back, back, front, front, back. Okay? And once you can, start building the pace up. Keep your head forwards, head upright. Make sure you're opening the chest. Make sure you're breathing as well. Okay, Mate. Now, we're going to do Segi Waza and then we're going to turn into any Ponce and Nagi. So we're going to back, front, front, back, see and Nagi. Okay? So you can do Mareti or Ipon. Okay, so back, front, front, back, turn into your see and Nagi. It's not that number, that code. And it's the old code, the old Monday night. Okay, so off you go. So back, front, front, back, to your Nadi. Okay? So back, front, front, back, front, stay still, turn on that one to the other leg, yeah? From back, back, front, to your Nadi. From back, front, to your Nadi. Back front, front back, see and Aggie. Back front, front back, see and Aggie. Okay, change to left now. So the other foot, so basically just switch with the other foot forward. Back, front, front, back, back, see and Aggie. Back, front, front, back, see and Aggie. Make sure those arms are coming up really high, guys. Okay. See and Aggie, you really need to draw. It's very important. Front, front, back, see and Aggie. Back front, front back, see an Aggie. Back front, front back, see an Aggie. Back front, front back, see an Aggie. Good. Right, Mate. Right, so we're going to do a retreating Karuchi. Foot down, next foot, and then Satsi through Komigoshi, okay? So we do. Koji, so the right foot sweep, step forward, right foot sweeps forward. So you're going to kick a football backwards and then kick a football forwards with the exact same foot, okay? So kick back, kick forward, kick back, kick forward, same foot, right foot, right foot, right left. Okay, and if you look, I'm turning to the side for the back Karuchi. As I step forward, I'm turning to the other side for the Satituri Komigoshi, okay? Here, 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 here. And my arms are working very, very heavily to get the correct Kazushi that I would be looking for these techniques, okay? All right, Mate, let's change to the other side now. So, step off of the other leg, sweep back, step, step, sweep forwards, okay? So, step back, forwards, forwards, sweep. Back. And 
always following the sweet foot, yeah? So the sweet foot is the one we're pushing. All right, so Karuchi, sweep forwards, okay? Good, keep going. Okay, Mate. Right, wrist, wake them up. Okay, elbows inwards, elbows outwards. Okay, arms forward. Okay, arms backwards. Okay, one forward, one backwards. Okay, change direction with them. Good, right, slightly wider. Just gonna twist. Okay, unpeel the back leg. Peel as well so you get a better twist. Good, right, hips. Okay, other way. Okay, just side to side. Bit of your arms. Who knows that one? What's it called, flossing? <laughs> okay, brilliant. Right, knees, just give them a bend. Darren, that was the best flossing I've ever seen. <laughs> okay, when you bend, go outwards and around to the back. Okay, and then the other direction, so outwards and bring him into the front. Brilliant, right, wake the toes up. Okay, then the ankle. Brilliant. Okay, then the other toes. Okay, then the ankle. Okay, just give yourselves a bit of a shake off, make sure you're all happy and loose, ready to go. Okay, so, grab a quick drink if you need to. It's very warm. Okay, so today is um, going to be predominantly working on uh, sort of like a C and Aggie sort of mixture. Um, there was a nice uh, bit of technical work that was being done by um, Fran on the uh, females uh, Sunday uh, BJC squad training. Um, and it, it's something I think we should pass on to our students as well. So it's something I want to see you guys starting to practice, okay? So the first thing I want you to think about is if I'm in a quite a wide stance, we want to think about our Sianagi arms, okay? Now, my first hand is going to be in front of my face with the elbow flat, and then the other one is going to be over the top of my head in this position, okay? Now, for me to put myself into this position, I need to drop my hand to the hip here, and I need to basically, like, I'm using a sledgehammer, okay? So if I had a sledgehammer, I'm going to just come round and then stop here, stop there, okay? So there's a big circle with the arm, the main arm, but this arm's gonna come back to the shoulder and then we're gonna pull forwards, okay? And the idea of the sledgehammer is we would be slamming people to the ground, okay? Now, a lot of the older guys have probably done sledgehammers on tires and stuff like that. I know, I definitely have. And this is exactly what they're looking at, is the way that you move to get your 
hands into that right position, okay? So start thinking about this. Don't worry about the feet at all. Just using your soft knees, all right? We're gonna come right round behind us on one side and then stop here. You can see that one hand's above my head and one hand is about chin height for me, okay? So it's around and there, around there, okay? And I've got my arms in this sort of position here. I'm not looking to be sort of like this. I have to have one at like a 45 and the one that's on the lateral, yeah? Or horizontal. Okay, so we're just gonna do 20 on the right and use the legs as well, twist with the hips, okay? And we sort of stop in that squat position. Good, right, now let's swap it to the other side. Okay, so we start, you can start your hands in the position they need to be in, okay? And then literally big circle with the main hand, Stop there, here, here, okay? So from the side, that's what you're gonna see, here. Okay, so just imagine you've got a big sledgehammer and you're really trying to hit something with it, yeah? That's what you're looking at, all right? Okay, once you've done your 20, stop and just wait up. Good. Right, now, I want everyone in a wider stance, okay? So not in your normal sort of attacking position, I want wider on purpose, okay? I then want us to squat down, so you've got like a 90 degree, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna alternate right and left, okay? So I just want to warm the legs up as well. So basically, we're going to start one side and then we're going to swap to the other side. Okay. Off you go. So the arm that's going on that side is always the one that's going to do like a big circle and the other one's just pulling with it. Pull with it. Okay, keeping that low squat position. Brilliant. Okay, Mate. Right. Everyone should have a belt with them. This is just to get you the right tension and stuff. Okay. <coughs> So, basically, if you can see the belt, it's under my arm, all right? So what I'm doing is I'm gonna hold it just wider than my arms. I'm then gonna put my arm elbow through, so it's behind, yeah? It's behind my arm, yeah? But it's gotta be behind my shoulder, okay? Then, this hand here, the top hand, all right? I'm looking to pull forwards, all right? And this hand, I want to make the tension. So I'm gonna basically try and pull forward with this one, but pull this one across, okay? So there's two points of pulling, one here and one here, okay? And the idea is keep the shoulder level with the head and the shoulder, okay? So I'm trying to pull this one forward while pulling this one across my chest. And I just want tension, all right? And I want you to put as much tension in that as you can. You should start to feel this on the arm, around the shoulder, everything. But this is really just a way of strengthening through that shoulder, okay? Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna count to four. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, okay? I'm gonna do this a couple of times on each side. So remember, tension, tension, all right? If we've not got tension and it's not aching, it's not gonna work, okay? So make sure, just for the guys, I wanna go, under and behind my shoulder, so it's under my armpit. This one gets pulled across to the other armpit and this one is getting pushed, trying to push forwards a little bit, okay? So it's just a tension place, okay? Right, make sure you've got your wrist watch on this hand because that's where you're gonna be looking, okay? Right, put the tension on. Okay, ready? So, one, two, three, four, hold. One, two, three, four. 
Okay, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four. Keep the tension. Four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four. Keep the tension. Pull it harder. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, really important posture again. All right, so from the side, I'm doing all the tension again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, no point should I be leaning forwards. Okay, right, swap the arm. Okay, so we've got this arm's now tension, this arm's now pulling. Okay, just give me a thumbs up. Can you feel that in the arm and the shoulder from the last one? If you can't feel it, you're not pulling hard enough. There's not enough tension, okay? The tension's got to be. Pull this arm across and push this one forwards, okay? All right, so hold. Keep that tension tight now. All right, so four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four. Four, three, two, one. One, two, three. Three, four. Four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four. Four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four. Good. Right. Can you feel it in your arms? Thumbs up, yeah? Good. As long as you can feel it, it's perfect, okay? But the idea is, is just get in that position there is giving you the two tension points that we need to know to perfect it from Cianaghi or Morota Cianaghi. Okay, so this is the lapel and this is the arm. Now, predominantly, we come across here and we tap across the front of the arm. The only reason why we've got it behind the arm is, is the only way to get you to think about the tension where you're pushing this arm forwards, okay, and you're pulling this arm round, okay? And it is literally just those two pulls why you're and holding it there is just to get that muscle memory right, okay? Really important to get that muscle memory right, and doing it on both sides is obviously key. So we're going to do it again on the right. So elbow comes through, make sure it's behind. And you should be, if you look at my belt, my belt goes across here, but up behind me, so it's like a 90 degree, okay? And then I can just move my arms on the belt to get it at the right position where I know this hand's above my head, and this hand's across the middle of my chest, okay? All right, so get yourselves into position again. We'll do all the same again. A couple of people to wait for. So get it behind your arm. Make sure there's lots of tension on that belt. Okay, so make sure you're pushing with this arm and you're pulling with this arm, okay? Right, tension on, tight, tight, tight. Okay, so four, three, two, one. Remember posture, one, two, three, four. Four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four. More tension now, put more tension in it. Four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four. More tension, pull it now. Four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four. Tight, tight, tight. Four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four. Perfect, right, swap arms again. I can definitely feel that one now. Okay, so behind the other arm again. Remember, across the chest. And this one's going up, all right? All the tension, the better the tension, and the harder the tension, the harder you're gonna work for yourself as well, okay? Right, ready? Tight on the tension, go. And then four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four. Four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four. Right, pull that tension on tight to everybody. Four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four. Right, tighter again, tighter again. Four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four. Right, pull it again, one more. Four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Right, relax. Grab a quick drink. Okay, so just a bit of judo knowledge or word knowledge that you need to know. Okay, may, 
the word May, M-A-E, is forwards, okay? Yashiro is backwards, all right? Does everyone understand that? So May, forwards, Yashiro, backwards, okay? You'll normally remember it from our break falls. So May, we normally jump forwards, and Yashiro, we're doing the back break fall, okay? So that's sometimes the way people remember it. So what we're going to do is May the back here, okay, which is a stepping movement. All right, which is setting you up for your C and Aggie. Okay, now we have done this right from the beginning. So if I've got my square, my right foot goes across to one, my left foot comes across to two, and then I turn into this position. Okay, now it's completely up to you if you want to hold on to that belt and do the same thing. Okay, so you can do the same thing with a belt if you wish, it's always good. All right, but we need to remember. One, two, and then three, okay? So that's Mesa Baki. So we're just moving forwards, okay? So one is your Kazushi. Two, the back leg comes in and you swoop the arm underneath their armpit and then you turn, okay? That's it, Pon. Morote, one, Kazushi. Two, you put the elbow to the hand and then turn, okay? And we're always on the balls of our feet, all right? So Mesa Baki, forwards, turn for the Sianagi, okay? And then you go forwards, turn for the Mesa back here, okay? So what we're gonna do is just do it right-handed at the moment, and then get that perfected, and then we'll move on to the Yashiro, and then we'll modify the Yashiro, okay? So, right, left, Sianagi, okay? Right, left, Sianagi. Right, left, Sianagi. Right, left, see and Aggie, okay? And just keep doing the same thing. Right, left, see and Aggie. Right, left, see and Aggie, okay? Keep going, keep practicing. Good, keep pushing. Okay. Yeah, good use of the uh, belt, Darren. Okay, has everyone got that? Everyone understand it? Good, okay, right. So, mace back in, forwards, okay. That's what we've just been doing. Forwards, okay. Now, remember, Yashiro is backwards, okay? So what we're looking at is someone pushing us or, or someone just running at us, you know, they're walking forwards, okay? Um, a lot of the referees, a lot of people that have been in competition or seen competitions, especially at a high standard, this is such a common mistake that people make in competition is they run towards their partner and then all you've got to do is just literally turn and you're in, in the right route, okay? So if we look at our square again, if I'm going to do a right-handed throw, I need to open up Okay, so I step back into the box behind, open up, so my Kazushi is on that motion, okay, and then that foot then travels diagonally across in front of our partner, okay? So if you see this line, that's where my partner is walking, okay? So I'm going to step off to break that balance, and then I'm going to step right in front of them, okay? So that is Mei Sabaki, all right? This is, uh, sorry, Yushiro Sabaki, okay? So step off to break the balance, okay? Then elbow goes across, or the arm comes under, and then you step in front of them again, okay? So you are stepping off, and then back in again, okay? So you step off, Kazushi, Sienagi, okay? Um, Dylan and Lucas, you'll need, uh, whoever's doing the turning in, just walk backwards, okay? The person that's uh, Uki, walk forwards, understand? That's it, perfect. Okay, so step off, Kazushi, always Kazushi, high arms, across from Marote. Kazushi, Sianagi, okay? And it's all posture, remember posture is completely what we're looking at at the moment. We don't want to be bending down, I'm not asking you to get the lower at all at the moment. Just want you to get Kazushi, 
and then see an Aggie. Kazushi, see an Aggie. Kazushi, see an Aggie. Okay. How are you finding it with the belt, Darren? Yeah, working? Cool. More tension on that one, I'd say, on your chest one. Yeah? So it's harder to pull the front one down. Yeah, that's better. All tension. <laughs> Bang. Okay. Kazushi, straight in front of them. Kazushi, straight in front of them. Well done, guys. Right, Mate. Now, I'm going to modify the uh, way you're going to step for the Yashiro Tabaki, okay? So, what we've been doing is we've been stepping off with this foot, okay, and then stepping back in front of them, all right? Now, what we're actually going to do is we're going to do it really, kind of, I, I guess I'd class it as a bit backwards, okay, because this is a little bit harder to do but it is definitely something that is useful as well, okay? So instead of stepping back with my left foot, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a small step with my right foot, okay? And then I'm gonna do a big U shape. I'm still turning the exact same way. So if I'm doing it the normal way, I'm turning towards you to turn in, okay? But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna step with the wrong foot first, okay? The right foot comes back, then the left foot is gonna draw a big circle, and I'm gonna be in the same place, okay? So it's right foot back, kazushi as you turn, okay? Make sure the arms go high, all right? So uh, Lucas and Dylan, one of these walking forwards, Uki walks forwards, okay? And then um, Tori is gonna take the right foot back and then turn in with the right elbow, okay? So we step back with the right foot, so we step backwards and then we spin, okay? And this is just known as a modified Yushiro Tsubaki step. So you step with the right foot first and then big twist, yeah? Keep going guys so I can watch you. So Kieran, if you're um, Uki, is that Kieran? No, it's Austin, sorry. So Austin, you need to walk backwards, yeah? So right foot goes back, and then you turn in for a left, uh, sorry, a right Yaponsi and Aggie. So right Yaponsi and Aggie is here, yeah? Okay, all you're doing is instead of stepping the left foot first, you're taking the wrong foot first, okay? But you're still turning 180 degrees, you have to turn around. Perfect. Show me yours, Sasha. Yeah, good shot. Do the right foot a little bit more. So take a bit more, that's it. No, spin the other way. So right foot, and then spin round, that's it. So anti-clockwise. So right foot, anti-clockwise. Right foot, big, no, no, go the other way. Right foot, and then that's it. And if you do it the other leg, then it's left, and then spin round the other way, okay? So if anyone wants to try it left-handed now, give it a go. Okay, so it's left foot, right foot, big circle, okay? And, and you do want to move that foot quite a lot. You know, the actual movement of this foot has got to travel all the way around, okay? You know, and this is one of those sort of um, competition techniques that actually does work really quickly, and you have to work quickly with it. Okay, Mate, guys. Right, let's try and put two together now, okay? So what we want to do is we want to do our May Tabaki, so the forward one, and then stop there and then reverse into it again, okay? So I'm going to keep travelling in the same direction. So I'm going May Tabaki, okay? Everyone understand that so far? Okay, so right foot, left foot, and then I'm going to take my right foot and I'm going to go round to the same position. So I'm facing the same way the whole time. So right, left, okay? Then it's left, 
Sorry, I've done it wrong. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Right, left, right, left. Okay, so you're not going to be able to do this with a partner because it's not going to work. Okay, so the boys do it on your own. Okay, just work in a line together. So we go right, left, and turn, face away. And then we go right foot, and then the left of that big circle. Okay. So right, left, right, and a big circle left. Okay, it's getting the rotation the correct way is the hardest part on this one. So right, left, and then right, left. Yeah, good, Rob. Yeah, well done, Austin. Nice, Hannah. So if you think about it, we're always uh, rotating the same way. So in this situation, if we're doing a right-handed technique, we're going anti-clockwise, okay? So right, left, anti-clockwise, right, left, anti-clockwise again, okay? So right, left, anti-clockwise, right, left, anti-clockwise again, okay? It's always a right throw. It's just getting your feet to work the correct way, okay? Right, left, turn. Right, big left, turn. Brilliant. Okay, Mate, guys. Well done. Everyone understand that? Yeah? The linkage between the two is just to get you practicing. So when I get back to the dojo, I'm definitely using that because I think it's a good way of getting people to think about, okay, if you attack here, but then I can attack here as well, okay? And it's just linking the two techniques together, all right? Now, um, grab yourselves a quick drink, all right? Um, wipe off your sweat if you have to. And then uh, we're gonna get onto our fitness section. Okay, right, so um, we've got linkages with uh, Siyanagi, Satsu Komigoshi, and Koichigari. Okay, so they're the only three techniques that we're actually using. All right, so the first one we're going to do is Koichi, but it's Koichi small, medium, large. Okay, so you remember it, it's three different steps you're going to have to exaggerate. So small, I'm just going to step off to the side in here. Step off to the side in here, okay? Then the medium, I'm gonna take the normal opening up positions, okay? So I take my normal square, and then my large ones, I'm gonna to have to hop to this one. Here, step forwards again, then I'm gonna to have to hop to there, okay? So I'll just show you that one more time. So we've got small, okay? Really not moving much. Medium, normal step in that we move. Okay, and then large is a hop, and then a hop, okay? Does everyone understand that? Okay, so that's the first one. Second one is Koichi Siyanagi. So we've done this already. So we go Koichi, chase to Siyanagi, okay? And then we're gonna do Koichi the other way, chase Siyanagi, okay? So right and left alternating, all right? Okay, uh, then we're gonna do uh, Koichi to uh, Sasei Tsuri Komigoshi, uh, Ashi, sorry, which is the one we did at the beginning, okay? So we go right foot, attack, down, right, sweep, okay? Right foot backwards, right foot forwards, okay? And then we're gonna swap to the left, all right? Um, and then we're gonna do a nice little finisher, but I won't tell you until we get there, because no one's gonna wanna carry on. <laughs> Okay, right, so when everyone's ready, we're going to do 30 Koichi, small, medium, large. Okay, so it's only 10, but it's just a case of it's 10 of that, that group of three. Okay, everyone understand? Right, okay, when you're ready. Okay, so small, right, left, medium, right, left, hop, hop. 
Okay, so that's three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Small again. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, everyone done that? Good. Right, Curry sheet to see and Aggie alternating sides, okay? So we go back, Kurichi, Chase, see and Aggie, back, Kurichi, Chase, see and Aggie, okay? All right, so you're gonna do 20, 10 on each side, off you go. Okay, so not just am I getting you to do repetitive stuff, you're actually having to use your noggins and brains and think about what you're doing, yeah? Coordination in judo is a really big thing. If you don't have the coordination to be able to switch from left to right to change what you're doing, you will struggle. But this is just to try and build it up a bit more for you, okay? Right, so, Kouchi to Sasikuri Komi Ashi, okay? So Kouchi, we're going back, Sweep back with the right foot, right foot, left foot, right foot sweeps, okay? So we're gonna do 20 on the right, like this, okay? The hand should be moving, and then we're gonna do 20 on the left. So step back, sweep forwards, sweep back, sweep forwards. Remember you're turning 180 degrees to turn around, okay? When I sweep my coach, I look on my foot. When I sweep my sashio, I go the other way. Okay, once you've done 20 on that side in total, so remember this is one. So that and that is one. Okay? Once you've done your 20, swap to the other side. Okay, so I'm going to swap. So Left, sweep, left, right, sweep forward. Sweep backwards, sweep forwards. Sweep backwards, sweep forwards. The same foot doing the sweeps. Left foot, left foot. Left foot, left foot. Left foot, left foot. So kick a football forwards, kick a football backwards, kick a football forwards, kick a football backwards with the same foot, yeah? So if it's the left foot, it's the right foot, okay? Brilliant. Well done, guys. Right. So finish up. 50 at your comment. Okay? So doing 25 on the right, 25 on the left, okay? So what I don't want to see 
Okay, I don't mind with the younger, younger kids, okay? But the guys that are capable of doing right and left, which is nearly every single one of you, um, I'm expecting a nice pace, okay? Not just a, okay, uh, uh, uh. all right? I want a pace with it, okay? Once you get yourself in the rhythm after the first sort of 10, you should be in a really good rhythm, okay? I want you in your own heads or out loud where you are, count out how many you're doing, okay? So you are going one, two, okay? Count it out. I'm going to count out as I go along so I don't lose count because 50 is quite a lot. Um, I have to use my toes for that. Um, but I'm going to keep going. But what I want to do in that last 10, I want to up the pace. Does that make sense? So if I'm going at a nice jogging pace like this, my last 10, I'm going to start hitting a bit quicker, okay? But I still need to be technically sound. If you can't get it technically sound, stay at the same pace, okay? Right, everyone ready? All right, so this is our finisher. So push yourselves, 50. All right, I'm going to count as I go along. If you're behind me, tough. You carry on and count to your 50, all right? Finish it. Okay, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, halfway, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, push! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Keep going until you've done your 50. Don't cheat yourself. Get that 50 done. You're cheating yourself if you cut yourself short. Everyone done? Awesome. Right. Just a little bit of a cool down now. So just stand up. Get your breath back while you're doing it. Just head to shoulders. Okay, chin up, chin down. Okay, give yourselves a pat on the back, You've done a really good job. Swap on top, right on top, left on top, so that's swapping. Good, right, nice little twist. Okay, slightly wider legs. Okay, I'm gonna go up. Down to one foot, across to the other foot, up to the middle, and then we're going to reverse it. Make sure you touch your toes each side. Okay, from there, stay in that same position. Okay, so now, if you put your hands on your hip area, just lean forward, but the idea is if your back should be bolt up straight and looking forward, chin, push your chin forward, yeah? From there, you should feel a little bit of a stretch on your glute and your, your hamstrings. Okay, if you wanna make this a bit harder, two things, one, you can open the stance a little bit, okay? Two, Put your hands out in front of you and then just push your hips back a little bit. So you bend your head down a bit more, but the back stays straight. Okay, from there, put your hands on the floor. Keep your legs straight. Okay. Cross your arms so you're holding your elbows. Take a big, deep breath in. And then your idea is, when you blow out, blow your hands or your elbows closer to the mat. So, breath in, blow out. Okay, breath in, blow out, get closer to the mat. Breath in, and then blow out, shoot, I can touch the floor. 
Okay, good. Right, <coughs> sit yourselves down on your bums. Okay, on your backs. And what we're going to do is we're going to do circles with our feet inwards, okay? So my feet are going in, okay? So we're not doing this, guys, not together, all right? One's going in and the other one comes in, works out. One out, one in, okay? So they're alternating. So we're not going together, not together, not together. Right in, left in, right in, left in, right in, left in, okay? And look, my knees are up towards the ceiling, so I'm not out here, I'm, knees are in towards me, and I'm just alternating them around. Okay, just get your hips and knees released. Okay, change direction, so you're going outwards now. So pushing the feet outwards. <laughs> I love seeing it when coordination goes bad. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, put your feet on the floor. Stay on your backs. And what we're gonna do, is just flop our feet and knees down to the ground one way, and then we're gonna swap and flop them the other way, okay? Now, if you want, you can release the feet and just sort of swap if you want, okay? If not, just keep your feet still, just flop one side, flop the other side, okay? This is just releasing the hip, and the lower back. Okay, right, give your knees the biggest hug you ever can, okay? Put your chin up towards your knees, and then I want you to just rock back and forth a little bit, okay? So you can feel all the vertebrae in your back, just getting moved around a little bit. You can go to the side a little bit as well, on each side of the back, but just really keep yourself in a really tight, tucked up ball. Make your back really round. Okay, good. Right, from there, keep the knees tucked in, put one hand out, okay? So one hand out, with the other hand, pull the knees down to the ground. So you get a nice stretch on the lower back, okay? Keep your head on the ground, try and keep the opposite shoulder and the arm out straight, and then just allow these just to relax down, okay? So you'll get a nice stretch down the lower back and the glute. And just breathe through. Okay, bring your knees back up to your chest again. Okay, I'm gonna go to the other side. So I always hug my knee first, other hand goes out to the side, okay? And then I'm gonna pull the knees down to the ground, but keep the shoulder, this shoulder, on the floor, okay? You can look at the hand, you go out straight as well, that makes it a little bit nicer on the stretch. And just breathe through this point. Brilliant, okay, up on your knees. Okay, so hands go out in front of us and then we're gonna push our hips forwards, okay? So I'm arching my back, hips to the ground, arms are straight, okay? And then I'm gonna point my toes and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look over my shoulder to my foot and then change around to look at the upper foot. Okay, but don't move your hands and don't move your hips. Just move to just get the back released. Okay, good, right, from there, keep your feet where they are, come back, slightly knees apart, okay, the hands stay where they are, and you're just gonna sit back, put your, heel, your bum between your heels, okay, use your hands, push your tailbone down to the floor. So just push, okay, push those arms straight, and then get, keep your head right down towards the floor. Okay, by pushing with the hands, you should get a really nice little stretch on the lower back. Okay, good, right, let's come forwards again. Point the toes again. And then we're literally gonna turn and look at one ankle, turn and look at the other ankle. Couple times each side. Then sit back again. 
and then use your hands to push your bum down to the floor. Keep the head down. Brilliant. Okay, stand yourselves up, just give it a shake. All right. Okay, let's ray off. So hands by sides, feet together. Okay, set to break. Okay, go grab yourself a drink, sit in front of your cameras, let's open up the mics and have a chat. Okay, unmute yourselves, guys. Hey. Yes. Ricky. Yes. We got you on the telly. Got me on the telly? Yeah. Oh, look at me, I'm famous. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! I'm famous! I'm a superstar now. All right, how did everyone find that today? Good. Yeah, good one. Yeah. Oh, down a bit. I'm not looking at everyone's. Yeah. Okay. Motivational talk. <sighs> so, everyone enjoyed that today, yeah? Yeah. Uh -huh. Right. Did anyone practice their silly faces for me? No. Never. Right. Never. Oh. Is that just your normal face, silly? Yeah. <laughs> right. I want a thumbs up. Okay, let's give it cool dude. Hang this. Give it the rock. All right. And then I want to see your silliest face ever. Just like normal, Darren. <laughs> <laughs> Darren, you look the same, mate. Yeah, cheers, mate. <laughs> <laughs> right, did everyone enjoy that today? Yeah. yeah, pretty, yeah, yeah. 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 Right, everyone done really well. There's some new stuff in there as well. Like, I know um, Darren definitely was on. Hannah, was you on any of the BJC squad stuff? No. No, okay. So, like, Darren, I know Darren was on them both. I was watching them both. Naga joined into one of them as well. So, um, you know, overall, uh, the BJC team squad stuff is actually really good. It's a little bit more advanced, so it's pushing into more competitive judo. Um, and obviously, some of the things that I've seen them doing, I wanted to pass on to you guys because... On the overall side of it, um, it's going to better you a judo, okay? And I just wanted to open things up a bit more, all right? Now, um, I can officially tell you now, okay, the Barnet Judo Club and St. Catherine's Judo Club are going up against St. Auburn's Judo Club on a virtual race, okay, where we need to cover 8,102 miles. That's going from the Buddha Kwai in London, which is the oldest European martial arts centre, and it's going all the way through to Kodokan in T Tokyo, Japan, okay? So this is going to be coming on in, in, it's going to be live from the 1st of July through to the 31st of August, okay? Now, if you are interested in joining in with this, let us know, okay? Um, we're going uh, we're gonna to be making sure we get everyone involved. We want all parents involved. We want all of the siblings doing it as well. If you go out for a walk with mum and dad, I expect you to be tracking your times as you're walking around the field as many times as you can. And then you need to submit it to us. And then we're going to put it onto a lovely little spreadsheet that's going to magically say that we've done X amount of miles. Okay, but we've got a literally do, I think it worked out to about 135 miles per day. Okay, so between St. Auburn's and um, Barnet, uh, sorry, St. Auburn's, they've got to do that on their own. But between Barnet and St. Catherine's, we're a team. We're going to have to do that together, okay? So give me a thumbs up if you want to join in. Perfect. Now, Hannah. Thumbs up. Hannah, you're, you're Barnet, aren't you? Yeah. And Darren, you're Barnet as well, aren't you? Yeah? Cool. <laughs> Everyone's welcome, all right? We want to get the numbers in as quick as we can, but you're Barnet. That's all you've got to remember, all right? <laughs> um, all right, guys. So uh, that's the main thing on, on the list of agendas for us to get through. Um, other to that, uh, I don't think there's any major things. Um, London Youth Games, um, Austin, what was the uh, target thing that came out for London Youth Games today? I didn't see it yet. Pardon? What was the London Youth Games um, task today? Yeah, so it was a dance thing where you had to hit, hit all the beats. Did you dance? 
haven't done it yet. Uh, well, I want to see the video of you dancing. If you do one, I'll do one. Okay, yeah. Yeah? <laughs> Right, did you two enjoy it though? Yeah, it was a really good session, thank you. Yeah, no, welcome, thank you very much for coming. Um, right, let's get some more shouts out. Uh, Sasha. Hello. Whereabouts are you today? Um, no idea. So it looks like a little bit like Hawaii. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> did you enjoy that today? Yeah. Yeah, you done well, mate, keep it going. Yeah. Bennett. Um, Good. Yes. Yes. You enjoy that? Yes. Dad, you enjoy it? Yes. Yes. <laughs> but, but how can we go through the water to go to Tokyo? Well, you have to get on your bike. It's going to take you about 100 days, but if you get on your bike, you'll be able to get there. I don't. <laughs> Craig, have you got the message on the WhatsApp group? Yeah, yeah, I was just telling them we're not literally going to go to Tokyo. <laughs> no, it's, it's, a, it's a pretend race. So we, we basically yeah. say we are doing, that's the miles we've got to do. But you, you just basically got, got to put the times in. But I'm sure you guys can work it out. <laughs> yeah, we'll do it. We're in. <laughs> yeah, perfect. The more we get, the better. You know, if you three go out together, that's three three lots of the same distance. That's all, all I'm saying. Yeah. Go out. It helps. <laughs> okay, uh, Hannah. He's weird. How we doing? Good, thanks. Yeah, did you enjoy that one? Yeah, that was good. Yeah, a bit different. Um, throwing a few combinations in there again, but just uh, a little bit more advanced sort of stuff. So probably something to keep you a little bit more interested. Yeah, we've done well today. It's good. Thank you. I'll definitely get you in on that challenge. Uh, Leo. Uh, okay. How we doing? Doing well. You? Yeah, I'm good, mate. I'm enjoying the weather. It's nice and warm. Ah, uh, same. Yeah, that's quite nice. Although <laughs> I was expecting to tally up. That would have uh, nice. Oh, end. see, I thought I'd be nice today because it was too hot. Oh. Oh, oh. Well, are, are you getting nightmares about sally up, sally down now? No, I'm obsessed. <laughs> are you obsessed with it? Are you? Have you got the copy of the? the... <laughs> <laughs> mate, do it every day if you want. And I'm not going to stop you. <laughs> No, well done, guys. It's, it's a good one. Uh, Lucas and Dylan. Hi. Thank Hi, you. Boys. Did you enjoy that one? Yeah. Yeah. Bit different on the stepping, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But how did you find it? I found it good. Yeah, it's a bit. It's a bit easier when you've got a partner sometimes because then you can kind of visualise how and why you're turning the way you're turning. Um, for the other guys that haven't actually got a partner in front of them, it is a bit difficult to kind of visualise that stepping. But if you get the basic steps right, then it works better once you get back into the dojo. I and mean, these are all things you can practise, you know, it's amazing. Okay, but keep going, boys. Uh, Rob. Hey, mate. How you doing? Yeah, I'm good, mate. Yourself? Yeah, fine, thank you. Thank you for Did you enjoy your judo today? I did. I, uh, I really enjoyed the backward stepping, but the altered version. Oh, okay. So, can you remember what forward and what reverse words were for Japan? Anyone remember the, the word for backwards or rear? Ushiro. Ushiro, that's it. Well done, Hannah. <laughs> Brownie points for you. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, the, the Ushiro, Ushiro um, Sabaki is really good. Um, because that's what we use when someone pushes onto you anyway. But the um, the modified version of it, um, you actually tend to see that more in competition because it's quite a quick attack um, and you have to be quick with it, otherwise you can be caught out quite quickly. I've, I've thought that would be the case because by stepping back, you was able to turn a lot. Yeah. No, so it, it, you've done well with it. You got the right. You were getting the right turns in the right position a bit. So it's just a practice. That's all. Thank Look at it. And Darren, last one, mate. Hi, mate. How are we doing? I'm okay. Yourself? Yeah, I'm good. You're a bit judo crazy at the moment, aren't you? Oh, I've got to do something. Are you doing judo every day or something at the moment? No, no, no. Just, just yours. Uh, Western area. Occasionally, I'll yep. stay up and do the next one with Red Ruth after this. And then the, the two um, squad ones. Yeah, cool. Hey, but I keep seeing you, so it's good to see you. <laughs> and, you, and, you and you're doing every session and pushing it. It's not like you're, you're sort of half-hearted doing it. You're, you're getting on with it. I know, it's probably fall apart when I'm stepping up on a mat. <laughs> no, it's cool. You're doing really well, mate, so keep it up. 
Cool. Thank you for seeing you again. Right, guys, uh, have I got Lennox asking a question? Do you need to go to the toilet? No, it's because um, um, also my, one of my South African family is going to join in. Perfect. And you know what? If we, if we take it out of out somewhere else, fine. Not a problem. <laughs> yeah, get, get your friends, your families, you know, it, cousins, brothers, uncles. I'm, I'm going to tell everyone that Hannah and Darren are my cousins. Um, <laughs> just to keep it in the family, you know. Um, but <laughs> and Jamie, Jamie's my 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 niece. I don't know. <laughs> but end of the day, guys, you know, it, it's a really really good challenge, and it, and it was just a a quick spin off, realistically. Like we just said, oh, we need to raise some money for the clubs just to kind of help the club stay afloat. Um, you know, to be honest, Darren and uh, Hannah, you guys don't have to give to our club. You can give it to your own clubs, yeah. Um, but what we've what we're doing is we we sent out sponsorship forms, um, which I can't spell very well, um, and the uh, sponsorship forms are there for the kids to just raise some money, basically. Um, and obviously for the clubs, um, it's just to try and keep them afloat a little bit more through this area. You know, we were offering these three se three sessions to everybody, um, but we just thought it'd be nice to see if we can get people to donate to the clubs just to help us keep alive. Um, you know, especially once this all blows over, we're going to need the funding anyway, and we're going to be restricted to the numbers coming into the club. So obviously once the expenditure kicks back in, the income's got, not going to be as high as we're used to. Um, you know, so Darren, you know, if you guys want to donate to your own club and stuff like that, feel free. Because yeah. um, this, this is what it's about. Just trying to get the community together, get everyone working together, a bit of friendly banter with it and a bit of a, a bit of a challenge, really, I guess. Push ourselves. All right. OK, guys, thank you very, very much for your session today. Um, really appreciate everyone still coming along. Um, the ID and the password has changed as of today. So for Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, uh, sorry, Wednesday, Friday and then Monday onwards going on, um, it's a different ID and a different password. So uh, Darren and Hannah, if you could just quickly message me with your uh, telephone number and I'll send you the links over as soon as possible. Okay. Otherwise, thank you very much, guys. Appreciate it. Enjoy the weather and I'll see you Wednesday. Cheers, mate. Bye. Take care, guys.